Be very careful with what you eat. Foods that go in your mouth can be responsible for causing you a great deal of pain and suffering. We see it all the time with diabetes, liver disease, colon cancer, but also with one of the most common health conditions ever seen, high blood pressure. If you're not paying close attention to what you're eating, rest assured your health will go to waste. Very well, but what are some of the worst foods you can have or take for blood pressure? What do you need to avoid at all cost? So in today's video, unreal six of the worst foods you should be avoiding for blood pressure control to stay healthy, naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. And this channel is a conventional doctor treating patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. If you're suffering from high blood pressure, you have to know that you're not alone. According to the American Heart Association, nearly half of all American adults actually have high blood pressure, and some of them might not even know it. Now the worst part is that if you're not paying attention to what you're eating, you will at some point or another see this health condition appear in your body without control. On the other hand, if you already have high blood pressure and you leave it untreated, it can severely damage your system, leading to serious health conditions and issues that in the future have no way and no return. So in today's video, I'll reveal six of the worst foods you should be avoiding for high blood pressure to stay healthy naturally and effectively. Number one, processed meats, sausages, and deli meats. Many people ask themselves if meats in general can affect their high blood pressure. I've had this question asked many times and the answer is yes. It's yes, pay attention. You see, meats in general, especially red meat, contains a considerable amount of aspartic acid, of calcium, and other substances that tend to increase blood pressure. Now, the worst meat you can consume is the one that comes in a processed form. Sausages, deli meats, hams, etc. Deli meats are often loaded with sodium, and on top of that contain the famous preservative called sodium nitrate. Many people don't know that nitrates are actually linked to potential heart disease risk, so it's a very good idea to stay away from any type of meat that comes in processed forms. When you buy foods, make sure you're buying foods that come in their most natural state possible, meaning that they're not processed, no processed meats at all. Number two, canned foods. If you're looking to stay clear of high blood pressure, keep your heart healthy, and improve health overall, one thing you need to be doing is staying away from sodium, most commonly known as salt. Now, when I say salt, this obviously includes all type of foods that are high in sodium content. Some of the most densely concentrated in salt are canned foods. The process of packaging canned foods is actually packed with salt, and you want to stay away from them, believe me. Now, if you really have to eat that canned product you already bought, make sure you're rinsing all that sodium contained in it. Obviously, the best thing to do is simply, you know, stay clear of them and not buy them at all. Once again, aim for foods that are not processed. These are the worst type. Number three, stay away from coffee. Caffeine can cause a temporary spike in blood pressure in people, usually people who don't consume it regularly. You see, caffeine, which is more commonly found in coffee, is the most popular beverage ever invented. It blocks a hormone that keeps your blood vessels open. This hormone is in charge of allowing blood to easily pass through. Caffeine's effect can temporarily increase blood pressure due to this action. Now, this also means that a supplement containing caffeine can actually have a similar effect, and many people consume them without, without noticing. It's very common to see patients who are wanting to lose weight, for example, often recurrent the formulas containing caffeine to improve weight loss. Most people don't realize that taking these supplements can actually increase your blood pressure, having the opposite effect many of these people want. So be careful. Be careful with caffeine and supplement products with caffeine. If you want to make sure this is not happening to you, try to see if caffeine raises your blood pressure and check this pressure about 30 minutes after drinking a cup of coffee or any caffeinated drink for that matter. Number four, sodas and sugary beverages. 
It's no secret that soda and sugary beverages are never the ideal drink for anyone's diet. These type of drinks have always been a problem for those suffering from high blood pressure and sugar control. Now the problem is that a new study has found that those who drink more of one can of soda or a sugar sweetened beverage every day have a higher blood pressure than those who don't. This puts everyone who drinks soda at a higher risk of developing cardiovascular problems, for example. Now, obviously, this is just one scary side of drinking too much soda. So be careful. You do not want diabetes on top of high blood pressure, believe me. If you need a good quality supplement formula for high blood sugar control, look for Metaglucose and Appleizer from Finland at drlandivar.com. Number five, French fries and potato chips. There's no doubt that potatoes fried to golden perfection might taste great, but they're very bad news for high blood pressure. The problem with consuming french fries and potato chips is that they're filled with fat and salt, both of which lead to belly fat. Research has seen time and time again that being overweight does indeed increase and lead high blood pressure. The more fat that store in your midsection, the greater the risk for high blood pressure and diabetes and other problems like cholesterol or even sugar balance, etc, etc. Researchers from Harvard Medical School even looked at 187,000 men and women across three studies and found that those who ate four or more servings a week of french fries were 17% at a higher risk of having high blood pressure. So be careful with french fries, potato chips. They are delicious, but can bring serious consequences in the future. Number six, stay away from vegetable oils and damaging fats. One of the most common complications of having high blood pressure is high cholesterol. If your cholesterol is not under control, you will have heart problems and heart conditions in the future. You see, having high cholesterol will, in the long run, shorten the internal diameter of your blood vessels. If this continues to be true for the long run, your blood vessel will narrow and your pressure goes up more than you want it to. Now, this is one of the reasons why it's very important that you do your best to stay with damaging fats. You don't want them. You don't need them. Vegetable oils, hydrogenated oils, trans fats will only make things worse in the future. And be very, very careful with what you are buying because many of the processed foods you're picking at the supermarket have and contain fats, trans fats, and all type of oils that do not favor your health. And help out the channel by giving this a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line and point, visit drlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to a topic of your information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.